Hey guys, welcome back. So we are going to do the carousel. I'd had a subscriber reach out to me and was asking about how you put the carousel together. Um, this part I'm assuming when we're done, because when you pour it this way, you're going to have holes here. And this is going to go down in here. This, I've heard you actually glue to this. And then these little guys, their feet stick in these holes. So, um, I'm going to do them in some kind of translucent colors here. I'm going to do them in blues. Uh, I have sky blue. I have some blue mylar flakes. A little bit of blue glitter. Dragonfly glaze. We're going to make them sparkly. It's a carousel. And then the horses I'm going to do in the aqua... Uh, chameleon powder, color shift mica, sorry, color shift mica powder, I'm going to do them. So I'm going to put you guys on a hold, I'm going to mix up some clear resin, I'm going to pour some in the cup here to put the mica in for the horses, and then the rest we're going to color for the, this part, and this, and this. <laughs> so, put you guys on a pause, we'll be right back with the resins mixed up. Okay, guys, we're back. All right, so I've got another project I got going on, another commission. I gotta put this aside. I got two ounces of resin aside for a coat I gotta put on it. All right, so I have four ounces of resin left. I'm gonna pour some in this cup here. This is gonna be for the horses. There's not a whole lot. A space for these horses so I'm just gonna I'm gonna guesstimate about how much I'm gonna need I think that's gonna be plenty and that's what we're gonna do first just in case I need more for the horses which I don't think I'm going to we're gonna mix that up first before we mix up the top all right this is the aqua it was the closest thing I could find in there. The blue was too darky blue. That makes sense for the... To go with the what blue I'm putting in. The sky blue. Alright. I figured the horses would be pretty though. And I didn't want to put glitter in them. I was like, yeah, we're going to have glitter and we're going to have sparkles in the top and the bottom. So I figured the horses could just be this shiny color shift. I think this is so cute. I think this would be so pretty in a little girl's room. Or little boys. I mean, you could do them in any color. See here, I'm gonna do these. Like I said, this way, if I have to fill it up more, I can. Said I've seen people where they put lights in the bottom and they were so cute. Like, oh my goodness. Is everybody having a good night?
can't thank you guys enough for subscribing and commenting on the videos and stuff. I really enjoy the feedback. And I'm sorry if my videos are blurry. One thing I did notice tonight, I was looking at one of my video from last night on um, the one with the necklaces. I was looking at it because I zoomed way in and I was like, it was kind of blurry because I watch it on my TV. I watch it back after I uploaded it just to see. And uh, it was a little bit blurry. And what I did was I went in and there's a spot where you can change the resolution of the video. And I had, I remembered I was watching somebody else's videos one time and they were saying if it was blurry check your settings well sure enough I went in and my default setting was the lowest quality setting that you could have so I bumped it up to I think it was 7 720 or something 780 or something like that I bumped it up to that and the video was so much clearer so until I can get this camera issue and it's not a camera issue guys the camera works great uh, the issue is right now I currently I film on my phone, I have editing software on my phone, I upload it from my phone, I store them on my phone, everything is done from my phone. My computer is not a bad computer, but it's an older one and it runs Windows 8. And the editing program that I need to be able to edit it with doesn't like Windows 8. So I would, I'm having to, I can get them to my computer, but I can't get in there and edit them. And I, that way I can't post them because I can't edit them clearly. So, that's the issue I'm having with that, guys. Uh, it may be just a little while, but I'm going to try to get my computer updated to Windows 10. So, at least that way I can run more programs. Because I've had that issue before with Windows 8. Not being able to run a lot of stuff. Um... I love the computer otherwise, but I just, I've never been, a, I don't, when I, 8 first came out, I kind of liked it, but the more I've realized over the years that it's kind of a hassle. Um, so I'm not a, not a fan anymore of 8, I've had more issues being able to get programs to be compatible with it for whatever reason. So, as soon as I can get that issue fixed, guys, I'll go, I'll start using the camera. I am, uh, I do have an external mic coming because I did notice myself that I was I had to turn my volume up pretty high in order to get a good volume level of course I might be old and getting hard of hearing but <laughs> that's neither here or there um, but I do have an extra mic coming for at least for the camera for now <coughs> sorry for the phone for now so hopefully it helps guys and like I said I apologize if the videos are blurry I have had a couple people tell me that some of you told me that they're fine. One lady said she's like me. She watches it on her TV and everything. It's fine. She didn't have any issues really. So like I said, check your settings if it's if it's bad. And if everybody else in the comments is saying it looks alright, check your settings. Make sure that for some reason YouTube didn't default it back to the lowest setting. Because like I said, that's what they did to me. And I bumped it back up and the video looked great. I just dumped a whole bunch of mylar flakes in here, guys. See all the mylar flakes? See all the pretty mylar flakes? I just want this to be sparkly and pretty. Which it will be. I don't know if we need that glitter. I don't think we do. I am going to put just a tad bit of dragonfly glaze in it. Just because I love this stuff. Love me some dragonfly glaze. There we go. Doesn't take much. Oh, it's my life flakes. They're gonna it's gonna be sparkly anyway. Yeah, I may try another set of these and get some of these fairy lights. I can't wait to show you what we're doing with this so I don't want to ruin the surprise and show you now. I wanna wait till after it's done. I may have way too much of this blue, but we'll find out. <laughs> I'll 
can use this, guys. If you need a little bit more, even. I think what we're going to do is we're going to mix this chameleon powder here. Just a little bit in with it. that to it. And I'm going to have to mix up some more resin for my other project because I need a little bit of this. Be sure they're full. All right, it's pretty full to me, there, guys. All right, let me move these out of the way here. I'm gonna spray it with a little bit of alcohol because we do see some bubbles in there. Of course, with all that, all those mylar flakes, it's no wonder. Very pretty, guys. Alright, perfect. Alright guys, we'll be back tomorrow night to demold it, put it together, and see how she looks. Hello my friends, well I'm back. So, everything's cured. Uh, I had a little bit of leftover resin last night when I did the commission, and I poured them in here. So we'll demold these two, to see how they look. Let's go ahead and do these right quick. Uh, these were just, uh, like I said, using up some leftover resin. Very pretty. Very pretty, guys. That's a nice leaf. See, I was going to brush them with chameleon powder and all that, and I was like, yeah, for now I'm just going to pour them and see. Ooh, that one's pretty. Kind of wanted to see what we get. Oh, I like that one. Wow, that one's pretty. Holy smokes, those are beautiful. Wow. Really impressed with this mold, guys. Like I said, this was a mold. This was a Temu mold. You can't beat them. You really can't. Also, wanted to show you something else right quick before we go any further. If you guys do any of the dominoes or chess sets, if you sell them or anything, um, bought these on Amazon, and that whole set of the beach dominoes fits perfect in here. They're crushed velvet bags. They also work great for the chest pieces. They are six by eight size, so if you go to order these, they come in all different sizes. But look at all the colors, guys. You got white, pink, blue, purple. I have a grayish silver burgundy. Oh, that burgundy is beautiful. Black and bright red. And I was like, oh, these are just gorgeous. So when I do some of these, because I'm going to do some more dominoes. Probably going to do, at least I know I'm going to do a black set. I wouldn't mind now. I kind of want to do a burgundy set. Burgundy and gold. Oh, that'd be pretty. Um, <laughs> I've just got all kinds of ideas here. But yeah, I figured these would be great for the chest pieces and for the dominoes um like i said i got these on amazon really nice quality they're very very solid bags very impressed with them and like i said they hold the dominoes no problem and uh chest pieces are the same way i tried them earlier they fit all of them perfectly so really impressed with that guys all right now let's get to our carousel here i'm really excited for this one of my viewers put it together she made one, and uh, she sent me a picture of it on my email. Me a picture of it. She did hers in brown, with bronze glitter, copper glitter, something like that. It was beautiful though. And see, I had thought about doing something a little more realistic. When I worked at the zoo in Kentucky, we had an old carousel there, and it had like a white top with like gold trim down this part of it, 
gold edging and stuff like that. And then the horses were like white and black and brown and I'm trying to take white, black, brown. I think that was the main colors that the horses were. But I thought about even going in with my little acrylic markers and drawing little saddles on the horses and all that. I was like, but this one I just kind of want to do blingy. I was like, it's a carousel, you know, we're going to do it blingy. So one of the things I did here is that you got to glue this onto here. No hole for it. On this one, there's a hole for it. But on that one, there's no hole. So, before I take it out of here, while it's still setting up right, perfect, I'm going to find the center of this somehow. <laughs> oh, let me get my ruler here. That's what we'll do. I'm going to try to find the center of this. And I'm going to take this, demold it, and put it in the center. Alright, let's see what we get here. So we're going to start right here. So one and a half is going to be the center. I need something to mark it with. Let's see if this will work. Okay. I'm going to turn it this way. I'm going to go one and a half right here. So. That should be right in the center. Let's see what we got here. So inch and a half. 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 Close enough. Alright. I don't know how hard this thing's going to be to demold. I wouldn't think it'd be super hard. I think we're just going to kind of roll it down. I can get any alcohol in here to get it out. I can get it in there. It's really hard to get alcohol down in there and get the mold to pull it back far enough to get it out. <laughs> That's the problem. When you put alcohol in here, guys, you gotta watch out because these things will shoot out like a bullet. Shoot out like a bullet. Alright, we're getting it to roll back some. Getting there. Thanks guys for all the nice comments. I appreciate everything. I really appreciate you guys watching. Hanging out with me here. Learning. Trying new things. Getting there guys. It's going to be fun turning this back right side out. Get some alcohol down in here. So we're a little over halfway. Ah, here it comes. Here it comes. Here it comes. I can feel it. There we go. Alright. So. This is what we've got so far. 
So what I'm going to do, rather than try to, they say you can resin it on, but with UV resin, but I'm like, I don't want to do that. I'm going to try. I'm just going to do super glue. We're going to do this end in the super glue. Make sure we're centered still here. Let that sit while we demold all the rest of this. I guess just telling her I've seen people where they put lights in these. I was telling you guys last night about it. Just put little fairy lights down in this. I'm like how neat, right? Then you could light the base up right there, and just put your battery pack kind of off to the side a little bit. For it. Oh, isn't that pretty? Wow. Alright, very sparkly. And these are a little bit soft still. Not too bad. I think they're good enough I can demold them. They are teeny tiny little horsies. And I just don't want to break them. Cute. How cute is that, guys? Oh my gosh. How fun. Alright. So, we're going to stick him down in here. Let's get this straightened out of here. This is why I'd heard you want to do this when they're still a little bit soft. So, you can do that. You can kind of mush them down in there. Alright, we're going to take this little guy out here. Pretty good there already. I can't wait to show you the rest of this. So cute! Oh my gosh. Alright, so now we're going to put this one on. Oh, he went right in nice. Very cute, guys. This is such a cute mold. Such a cute little mold. Didn't take a lot of resin. There's like all kinds of things. I mean, you could do like circus colors, like red and blue and yellow. And white. How pretty would that be? You could do, like I was talking about, where you did, like, kind of more realistic little horses. Like I said, you could even, depending on how artistic you are or creative you wanted to get. You could paint little eyes on the horses. Alright, come on. This little guy's giving me an issue there. Come on. Let's see if he fits over here better. Alright, let's get him straightened out here. There he goes. Much better. Alright. Yeah, that's why I'd read, I'd read somebody online said something about demolding these when they're still just a tiny bit soft. 
Otherwise, if they're hard, if you get any kind of overspill, you're going to have to, like, sand them and stuff like that. They said this way you put them on and you just kind of let them go. Let them harden in there. There we go. One more here, guys. And I'm going to put you guys on a pause and I'm going to pull out the other item. Let you see it when we come back. Come on. Get in here, little horsey. There we go. Oh, this little guy is falling over. He's running out of the way. All right. I think he's in there now. Okay, now we're going to take this out. She did tell me to be careful because she broke her little ball off the tip of here. I don't even think I filled the ball. Maybe I did. I don't know. We'll find out. We can get the ball out. Nope, no ball. I broke the ball off. No, I actually don't think there was. A, I don't think I filled the ball. That's all right. What I'll do is I'll glue a bead at the top of it. All right. So now that just sits down in here like so. Ah, hang on. I had a horse fall over. We have a horse accident here. The horsey fell over. Okay, so cute. All right, guys, I'm gonna put you guys on a quick pause, and then I'm gonna bring you down, let you check out. All right, I will show you this the thing I bought to go with this. It's still in the package. I have not taken it out yet. I'm gonna put you guys on a pause. We'll be right back. All right, guys, check it out. Is that cool or what? It's a rotating lighted base for it. Oh my gosh. Is that cute? What do you think, guys? Look at that. Wow. Yeah, it's a rotating lighted base. The base changes colors. Look at the colors changing in it. Oh my gosh. I love that. And it rotates the carousel. Actually, it's rotating in the wrong way. I wonder if you can switch the way it rotates. Can we switch the direction it rotates in? Well, maybe we just have to turn the horses around. So we'll turn the horses around facing the other direction so they're not spinning backwards. <laughs> but yeah. How cute is that? I 
I was like, I wanted to find one of the wind-up ones that played music, and I couldn't find one. Didn't know really what to search for, and I found this. And let me turn the lights back on. I'm gonna put you guys on pause. I'll put you back up. But I had to show you that, guys. I'm like, oh my gosh, the slided bass. I'll show you the bass and everything once I turn the lights back on. Be right back, guys. You see it's still spinning here, guys. It's still spinning. Isn't that cute? You can see the lights in the top. That's why I wanted to make it translucent. That was my whole reasoning behind that. I am going to switch these around. Uh, this is a... I want to say it was a three... Three inch... Rotating light. Um... I bought it on Amazon. I'll put the link in the description box so if you guys want to do it. But basically, and I don't want this secure on top of here. And it's already starting to harden on here. Uh-oh. We may be on here permanently, guys. Because my resin isn't fully cured. Uh-oh. Well, guess what? He may have a permanent base. <laughs> I can get it off of here without ruining the light. There we go. But yeah, so I'm going to let this cure first. But before I do, I'm going to turn the horses around here right quick. So when it spins, it's spinning in the right direction. But yeah, I had to show you guys that. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, perfect time to do so. We do silly things. We put things on spinny things and <laughs> light them up and I just, I thought that was the neatest thing ever. I was like, oh my gosh. Now, I don't know if I would sell them that way. I would give the people the option. If they wanted them that way, they could get them, get, you know, but of course it's going to be more because this was, I want to say it was like 12 bucks, maybe even more. And if you bought two, it was a little bit cheaper. But I wasn't sure how it was going to work. So I didn't buy two. I only bought one. But I thought it would be cute to be able to show people this is what you can do if you want to do it. You know. And I can give them the link. They can buy their own if they want to on Amazon. Or if they don't want to mess with it. I'll buy it and just sell it with it. Or I'll have some on stock maybe. And get a couple and have with it. And then if they just want to buy it right there with it. I'll sell them to them. So, I appreciate you guys for watching. I'm just turning the horses around here. Just turning the horses around. Oh, he's not standing up here. Got to turn them around so they're facing the right way. But yeah, guys. So, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Appreciate all the comments, likes, subscribe, shares, all the everybody's doing. My channel's starting to really do great. It's all because of you guys. I love talking with you guys. I love talking to you guys, texting you back, chatting with you back and forth in the comment section. And again, if you guys ever want to get a hold of me and you want to send me pictures of some of your artwork and stuff, you can email me. My email is in the description box below. Marvelousartsy at gmail.com. So, uh, like I said, guys, tomorrow night we got another new video, another new mold. Haven't decided which one yet completely, but I got a couple ideas. Uh, but yeah, so let me know what you think. Let me know what you think of these, man. These are gorgeous. I am so wow. Those are beautiful. Those leaves are just stunning. All right, guys. Hope everyone has a wonderful evening. I hope everyone stays happy, healthy, safe, and blessed. If you haven't, um, <laughs> if you have a resin project going on. I hope everything's cured perfectly. Um, and I'll see you guys tomorrow night. Bye.